So of course the High Life update came out and that means new cars such as the Pegasi Zentorno here which cost $725,000 and we are going to see how it performs, what modifications there are for it and overall is it actually worth the money. And so we're going to get right into this after I order it and I'll be back when I've got it there ready in my garage and yeah, we'll see you then. So as you can see there is the Pegasi Zentorno and I probably didn't pick it in the best colour but you know, you get the idea. There's some nice vents on the back here, the, the kind of holes there and also you can see on the wheels there there's sort of an orange tint and that's because the secondary colour actually affects the sort of hint, tint of the custom, or not the custom wheels, the uh, you know, pre-made wheels that are on the car when you order it. And so we're just going to drive it to the mod shop so we can change the colour and see all the different modifications that are available like spoilers and skirts and just all this different stuff that's, you know, on some supercars like the Feltzer and stuff like that. So yeah. So right now you can see it does go pretty fast. It's probably around the same speed as the end of day. And it does look pretty cool, it looks, you know, looks kind of like an evil face at the back there with the two lights, you know, saying that you're like, don't mess with me and stuff like that. It probably sounds really stupid, but yeah, it does go pretty fast, so if you're looking for a fast kind of new supercar and, you know, you filled your garage and you can't afford another one, you know, get this one and, you know, it should probably satisfy your needs. So we're just going to drive it in here and see what modifications are available, as I said before. Right, so as you can see, we have the normal brakes and the normal armor upgrades like you do on every car. And then we get to the chassis and you actually have these little sort of skirt things next to the window which can be just a black, the color, the primary color of your car or the secondary color of your car. Which is a pretty nice addition, you know, at least it's something new and you know, you've got normal engine upgrades, you've got cool, some cool exhaust here, we've got like the two dual wheels thing, you got the one big circular one, not circular, like uh, whatever it's called, one. Yeah, so some pretty cool exhaust there right now if you wanted to, you know, customize it like sort of a racing or a drifting sort of car. So on the hood, you see we actually have this stripe, you know, the race stripe that can make your car go faster apparently. <laughs> and that will be in the secondary color, so you know, you could make some cool stuff with that. Or you can just have a normal hood without any vents or anything on it. Now we've got some new horns here, which I'm going to play for you right now, which are part of the business, not the business update, sorry, the High Life DLC. So hear them for yourself. So that was the horns, which was Do Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do, and I think that was a song that I used to sing as a kid, I don't remember it. But anyway, right here you can see the crew emblem on your car will be on the side door if you choose the, you know, the, what's it called, the hood that actually comes with the car. And here you've basically got all the same colours, but what's cool about this car is if you choose a secondary colour, the secondary colour will actually be the, you know, sort of outer bit of the wheels that come with the car so if you want you know not to spend any money on wheel color then you can just do that and that's like a sort of alternative so that, that is pretty cool in my opinion anyway and i'm just going to recolor my car so we can get back to this video and all the rest of the modifications so we're moving on to the skirts here and as you can see there are you know three options you can have one that's your primary color of your car your secondary color of your car or a carbon which is kind of like a black and onto these spoilers, which is probably the most customizable thing on this car, which is there is four different spoilers, I think. Yeah, sorry, no, there's three different spoilers. You can have the a spoiler with your primary and secondary color, then carbon, another one with your primary and secondary, then carbon, and then just a racing spoiler, which is like the big one you see on the Feltzer, but not as big. But what's cool about it is I actually stuck to the back of the car there, if you could see that. And basically all the rest of these options are all the ones that we've already had before. And so that just about does it for the customization of the Pegasi Zentorno. And we'll be moving on to actually test it in the streets. The handling of this car is kind of like that of the Entity XF. 
if you've driven that before you know what it feels like and i'd basically say the overall like performance of the car is basically a mix between the entity xf and the uh, bugatti or the adder where you know if you're going it can it's got fast acceleration and it's also got a fast top speed so you know i'd say if you're doing a race i'd definitely pick that as you know it seems like it'd be the perfect fit so it can brake well if you've got the brake upgrades and it can basically handle it can go in between sort of tight spaces not the tightest like a motorbike kind of thing but you know it's not the widest car it is kind of it basically is sort of like an entity in that aspect as well so basically it is the middle supercar it's i think it's cheaper that or sorry i think it's more expensive than the entity but actually cheaper than the adder so you know it is actually in the middle of the two so I hope that helped on your decision to actually decide whether or not to buy the car. And if you did, then hey, well done. <laughs> if you didn't buy the car, well, there are two more cars for you to check out. And I don't know the names of them, but I will know them in the next episode. So, you know, if you want to check out those cars, I will gladly spend my money on them and tell you how they feel and how they drive. So until then, I will see you all next time. Lift your head up to the sky Take a deeper breath and give it time You can walk the path among the lines With your shattered frame of mind Or it's that you could always stay We can wait right here and play Until so